learn and learn to use them for self-defense. They're totally legal. You can walk around with your tool belt with hammers and hatchets and screwdrivers all day long. Just even if you're not working, look like a worker. But let's get back to the belt. You have two things. Bah! It's falling apart. Bah! Bah! You understand? Smack right in the face. Bah! That'll stop something. You smack somebody in the eye with, with this. Bah! They gonna stop. I don't care who you are. Because that hurts. It hurts. It stings. Even if they uh, tolerant the pain, they're gonna do like this, at least for a second. That's all you need. Bow! Second. And then you on them. Now, the other end, I'm gonna make it short. You can make it as, as long as, as the belt is. But the other end, which I got two stitches from, is the buckle. And it reminds me of ninjutsu where they have uh, I don't know the name of the weapon. You understand? Come, come on. Come on with your knife. I mean, like, if you got a gun, that's something else. But come on with your knife and your stick. What? You understand? This is a heavy buckle. I touch you once with this. At this speed, it's going to do damage. Now the actual belt that we will be making for our system will be more like, um, what you call it, like uh, mesh, you know, because it's easier to move. You can look at some of my older videos and see how we were using the, um, the smoking bong and we had a carrier and it was made out of uh, crochet like, and it was easier to move, it stretched, etc. So these are just some of the basic weapons. And again, the belt can be also used for an exercise um, uh, tool. We strengthen the arms, pulling out. Stretching and different things. It's an exercise tool. So these are just three of the weapons of Tai Chi Bo. And I'm way, way over, I'm into the second, another video, but now we got four, so. Anyway, basic uh, weapons of Tai Chi Bo. Double sticks. Raising cane. As you see, what, what just fell off is hiding this little point here. And I didn't describe before, because when you grab somebody with that point, Or, or, or hit them in, the, in that shoulder blade, or just pull on the neck, or behind the knee. Oh. It's gonna hurt. Um, uh, can, can you see that point there? Yeah, I'll get you back, back there. Hurt, pain. You're not thinking about nobody. All your thoughts are gonna go, ow, pain, and then you can do what you want. Yeah. So three basic weapons, the cane, those are, these are the three basic weapons and when we have other ones. Raising cane, whipping ass with the belt, yeah, and, uh, and double sticks. So you have uh, balance, brain, hand, eye, coordination, all that good stuff. Um, just a word right quick, these are the, like the oldest things I own. These are old um, crutches. They used to be made out of wood, and this was the bottom of the crutch. And it has holes in it where you can adjust it. But it, this wood, I found this in the 70s. I found these in the 70s, and I made these sticks. They're square, so these little um, edges, the square edges hitting in bone. Ah, that's, that's some... I don't even believe I think of some dangerous stuff like that. But it's altogether a different thing than the round, uh, like Kali sticks. With the square, you hitting in the bone with these, with these edges. And these sticks are hard. I've had them for 30, 40, 40 years at, at least, I think. 
and he's still here. So you understand? Three weapons, main weapons, and that's all you really need. The other weapons are you can we can add on to. We'll get into that. But for right now, peace in the mind, peace in the heart. Hey, Chuck. Because we're about to come on some trying times as a people, as a group, so-called African Americans, black colored Negroes, ex-slaves, all those labels that we put on ourselves. We and other people are about to come and we are already in, we ain't about to come, we are already in some trying times trying to live in these things you call cities. And it kills me because all you Bible people are talking about the Bible, which tells you, come out of her, my people, that you not partake of her sins and her diseases. And I see the diseases and the sins going rampant in these cities. But I've been around and I've seen that there's land. There's land for sale. You don't have to kill and nobody for land anymore. You go buy it down at the rental office and you move on it and you build and you grow. You grow hemp and you make bricks and build your own homes and you make clothes so you don't be naked and you make food so you don't be hungry. The water we got to do something else but it's, it's, it's just that simple. Why am I having such a hard time getting black people to take care of themselves? Listen to the words that I'm saying. Why am I having such a hard time getting black people to come together and take care of themselves? Perinator Kemet is not about leaders, it's not about followers, and it's not about believers. Please don't be believers. I don't want no believers. We need sheroes and heroes. People who are ready to do work and build our own nation. And we have the plant to do it. What is on you? Peace.